Hello, souls and demons, and welcome back to the portal. Today is another installment of the Glitch in the Matrix stories. So sit back, grip your seats, and enjoy these strange tales. I think I jumped through time. This will be short, but it's happened in the same place about half the time I drive through there. Back when I was 16, I had a boyfriend who lived almost 40 miles away from me. The drive from my house to his would usually take about 45 minutes, relevant for later. This was before texting existed. One weekend I got permission to go stay with my boyfriend after our parents talked and made sure I would be sleeping on the couch by myself. So I called his house right before I left to let him know I was on my way. I took the usual drive, staying at the speed limit and enjoying the view. Nothing out of the ordinary happened. No weird light fog or even a feeling. I pulled up to his house and started to gather my stuff when his mom came out and went pale. She said, You're not supposed to be here yet. I asked what she meant as she walked into the house. She replied, You left 20 minutes ago and are already here? How fast did you drive? I told her I stayed at the speed limit, even on the long dirt road, but sure enough, the clocks in the house and my watch all showed the same time. I was there more than 20 minutes early. I have no explanation, but I've driven that same hill with other people and it's happened. Ever since that first time, going over the one particular hill will cut 20 minutes off my drive on an average of 4 out of 10 times. I wish I knew what was going on. Is there a section of frozen time where I'm aware of the landscape passing but time isn't actually moving? Do I jump through time? Is there something relativistic going on? I likely will never know. But until then, I'll enjoy being 20 minutes early for about half of my drives. In edit, I live in an area that doesn't get a lot of traffic, and this phenomenon happens on the interstate. water appearing out of nowhere. Yesterday I woke up for school at 6.30 a.m. and the first thing I saw was my closet door was opened, and in particular my drawer was pulled out. I didn't think much of it, just asked my sister if she had opened it and she said no. I believed her and just took my dry socks from that drawer and continued my usual routine for school and went through the day. When I came home, I had a conversation with one of my family members. She told me that around 11 a.m. she went into my room to put some fresh laundry. And when she opened my drawer, the same one that was open that morning, she found out that all of its contents were just drenched in water. It was like as if someone poured water into the drawer. She said it had a smell to it, but it wasn't good, nor bad, and she couldn't describe the smell. I asked my sister about this as she had woken up at about 5.30 a.m., before I discovered my drawer was pulled out to go to the toilet. She said her memory was hazy, but she didn't think it was open when she walked in. My family also told me that no one had gone into my room while I was gone, except for when my family member went inside to put down fresh laundry. So two things to think about here. Where did the water come from? What was it and who came into my room in the period of 5.30 a.m. to 6.30 a.m.? And to add on, my family and I have moved two times. From houses A, B, and finally C. In house A, maybe in late 2018 or early 2019, there was a similar incident. After my family member came back home in the morning from bringing my younger brother to school, she discovered that her bed was like as if someone poured water on it. The thing is, she came back around 8 a.m. I left the house around 7 a.m. And I remember her bed being dry when I saw it. WTF. In an edit, just to clear things up for everyone, I have three drawers in that closet. The middle one was drenched in water. I checked the one above it as it was filled with skincare items and perfumes and such. But they were all fine and not used and the items with which could have been a candidate for the spill, like Cetaphil, didn't have much content inside to begin with. 
We checked the entire room for liquids and asked my family member to smell my perfumes, cleansers, etc., but she really couldn't identify the smell. And nothing I had matched the amount of water spilt inside my drawer. Nothing was touched. The bottom drawer below it wasn't touched as well. No spills. Plus, when I moved into the house, I applied Vaseline to the sides of my drawers to make it smoother when I open and close it. But that day when I came back home from school and opened that drawer, before my family member told me about it, I immediately noticed that it was harder to open than usual. As if the Vaseline washed away or something. My other two drawers are fine, it's just the middle. The large black jeep that never arrived. I 100% believe that we live in a supernatural world, but I don't know if this story is a paranormal one or a glitch in the matrix. This event happened to me and my mother years ago, but we sometimes talk about it and we still can't explain what happened. This happened in Long Watton in England, but I don't know the exact name of the road. My mother was driving me home after school had finished. I was 14 at the time, and the roads that led us home were usually quiet and safe. My mother has been driving for years, and I believe that she is a great driver and can control a car if something dangerous would have happened. We were driving down the road, not that fast, but at a normal speed. But then out of nowhere, my mother starts swerving the car on an empty road. I was freaking out and I clearly remember seeing this large black jeep with tinted windows trailing behind us. So I thought the car was going to crash into the back of our car. But then my mom finally stops the car on the side of the road. Obviously she's freaked out too. But then what was odd is that the large black jeep with tinted windows never came. It never stopped behind us, it didn't pass by us. It was almost like the jeep just vanished. When we got home, driving slower than usual, I asked my mother, What do you think happened? She told me that she felt a dark energy sitting behind her controlling and forcing her hands to swerve the car. The next day, we were on the same road, but nothing happened, thankfully. I have researched the area to see if something happened, and apparently some teenager crashed his car and died, but I don't think it's connected with the teenager. But that black jeep that never arrived is something that I can't explain. Has anyone else experienced something connecting with a mysterious large black jeep with tinted windows? Unknown voice in our walkie talkies also looked for the maintenance man. Little background. We have four small inns operating right now. Walkie talkies are assigned to all four inns and my aunt has one. Our house guard has one. There is also one in our living room. When there is a power outage, the maintenance man, who we will call Paul, will turn on all the generators in our house and the inns. One end just doesn't have it. All ends are walking distance from each other. A huge thunder and lightning with rain weirdly knocked out the city's power, so no lights. Our operations manager, who we will abbreviate as OM, used the walkie-talkies to call Paul. Paul, Paul, the power is out, we need you to turn on the generators. The guard also asked him, Paul, where are you now? Then a girl who sounded lonely and scared called for Paul too. Paul, Paul, hurry up, please. Everyone got quiet. Then OM and the guard called Paul again. Then the unknown voice called for Paul again as well. This time it sounded like she was about to cry. So the guard told her to relax and calm down. I was playing a game when the lights went out. I heard the voice and it alarmed me. Then when I heard her again, I started to have goosebumps, so I went outside to go near the guard and other house employees. Then our OM called me. He is in our main inn. He had goosebumps too, because he had no clue who the hell was crying Paul's name out. The time was near 7 p.m., which is our turnover time for the next shift. So it was impossible for someone to be that scared since they had company in the lobbies. So I texted and called all the inns. They had no idea who that was, and they found it creepy as hell. Then I found out that in the inn with no generator, the lights went out and they heard someone crying on the second floor. No guests checked in yet. 
and their walkie-talkie's battery died so they didn't hear the unknown voice. There were four employees in the lobby there. Three of them ran out when they heard someone scream and cry on the second floor, leaving one who was still counting inventory items in the lobby. She said she couldn't move because of how scared she was. The weird thing is, is that the voice is so clear, like it was crystal clear. And for a cheap walkie-talkie with heavy rain in the background, WTF. She sounded like she was alone in a really quiet room, freaking out. I talked to my aunt and she was about to tell the crying girl to stop overreacting. But the guard already told her to calm down. So it wasn't my aunt. And she isn't easily scared. So in one, OM was the one using the walkie-talkie. In two, her voice is different and not alone in the lobby. In three, she has the sinuses, so her voice isn't that clear and she wasn't alone in the lobby. In four, dead walkie-talkie with creepy shit happening on the second floor. Everyone who heard her found it creepy as hell, and even some guests who were in the lobby found it creepy too. Or there is a possibility that it could have just been someone with a really good walkie-talkie that got in our frequency and was screwing with us. Thoughts? Experienced a glitch in the matrix today. So a few days ago, my friend leaves a bottle of vape juice at my house. He texts me last night asking to come get it and I said yes. He comes over, we hang out for a little bit, he grabs the juice and leaves. I go upstairs to eat dessert with my family. I'm up there for about an hour or so. I come back downstairs and notice my friend's bottle of vape juice is still on my table. It's funny because I was there when he took the juice and left. I thought maybe he had forgotten something and come back later when I was upstairs and left the juice again by accident. And this can't be mine because I don't vape. I took a snap of the juice and sent it to him, saying he left it at my house again. He snaps me back with a picture of the exact same bottle, filled up the same way. He said he grabbed his. At this point I'm freaking out, this can't be mine. It's the same bottle flavor filled up the same way. I asked him if there were two bottles of juice when he took his, he said no, it was the only one. Really really weird, I'm freaking out. Having an eye-opening experience like, holy fuck, we live in a simulation. But I had to work early in the morning, so I go to bed pretty quickly after that. I left the juice on the table. I go to work and I get back home a few hours ago. I'm thinking about the vape juice, how I could give it to one of my friends who do vape as a gift or something. I go into my room and check my table, and it's fucking gone. I threw my room apart, checking everywhere. I ask the only two people in the house if they've done anything. Nope. It just disappeared out of thin air. My first instinct was that I imagined it, but I texted my friend and he remembered me sending him the picture. And it shows that we talked in chat. So yeah, I've talked to my friend about it and we both agree this was a glitch in the matrix. Super, super weird, bro. Gives me goosebumps. I think about people before they die. So I'm not very close to my mom's mom nor my dad's parents. They both had shitty childhoods and I've just never hung out with my grandparents. This March I was on the train and for the first time in months, I thought about my grandma, mom's side, and I wondered how she was doing and maybe if I should ask my mom about her. The morning after I woke up to a text message from mom saying, can you call me today? And I just knew that grandma had passed away. Apparently she had gotten COVID-19 the week before and my parents hadn't told me because I'm not close to grandma. And she passed away during the night after I thought about her. Fast forward to two weeks ago. I was on the train again and suddenly realized that I had no idea if my grandparents on my dad's side were even alive and felt bad for my dad for having such bad parents. I haven't even thought about their existence in years. Then the day after my dad sent a picture where he's visiting his mom, he hasn't even talked to them in over 10 years. 
I asked dad why he was there and where his dad was, but he didn't want to talk about it. So I'm just going to assume that his dad passed that day. I feel weird about this. Has it happened to someone else where you suddenly think about a person the same day they're going to die? My mom was talking outside my window, but was asleep. So a couple of nights ago, I was laying in my bed with my window open around midnight. I had no music on or TV. I was just texting my friends. My mom's boyfriend has a very distinct voice. He's very southern and you couldn't mistake his voice for anyone else. I heard talking outside which seemed to be my mom and her boyfriend, which isn't unusual because they talk outside all the time. So I look out my window and see them standing next to our car talking. I was only wearing a bra so I went to put on a shirt and hurried out to see what they were talking about. That's when I saw my mom sleeping on the couch. So she wakes up and is talking to me and I'm like, were you not just outside talking to your boyfriend? And she goes, nope, I've been right here, why? And I run outside to see if her boyfriend is out there or just anyone at this point. And there's no one outside, not even down the road. So I come back inside and I tell my mom the story and she thought I was crazy. So she's like, do you want me to text boyfriend and see if maybe he went to neighbor's house? Our neighbor is his cousin and cousin's girlfriend. So she texts him and he texts back saying he was at home sleeping. Please tell me I'm not crazy and someone has a similar experience. My mask keeps disappearing and reappearing. So my mom bought the family some camo masks in March and we got them around May due to a huge amount of orders all of a sudden. Feel free to make it your mask is just hiding with this camo joke if you want. So it's July 21st. I have to go to a doctor's appointment in the city and I can't find my mask at all. I turn my room upside down several times looking for it, but it's absolutely nowhere to be seen. I move everything on my desk, pick up everything and down several times, make sure I can't find it, and figure it's in the car and go out. At the car, I can't find it there either. I take everything out of the dashboard, check under the seats multiple times, nothing. It is literally gone. My friend's coming with me and she buys me a new mask in the city. A galaxy mask, I like it, but that's not really important. I get through the day and go home. It's waiting on top of my desk, directly under my monitor, as if to say, you'll never lose me here. It was under the monitor a bit and I know I picked that thing up like five times. Whatever, I found it, I guess I went crazy. A day or two later I lose it again and figure it fell out of my pocket and that's that. I still have my galaxy mask just fine so that's super weird. I wrote it off as a coincidence. A few days ago, I had to go out and it was chilly, so I decided to wear my coat. I just brought it from my apartment to put in my parents' home because I'm staying with my parents for a few days, as I need 24-7 access to a car as I had a very bad wound. So I put my jacket on and put my hands in the pockets, checking for things like money since I tend to leave myself money in jackets for months later. I found the mask that disappeared again. It was over 100 degrees in July, so I'd have absolutely no idea how it got into my coat pocket. But there it is, perfectly nice and safe. I just check now and it's still in there as if nothing ever happened. It's not a major thing, but it makes me feel like the universe is messing with me hard. <laughs> 